Florida greenhouse vegetable and herb growers grow a wide variety of crops inside our greenhouses. They include crops like tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, lettuce, and even herbs, especially basil. We have an advantage in our Florida greenhouse industry in that we can take advantage of the lower heating costs in the fall and the winter of the year and also take advantage of high market prices during that period of the year in comparison to other areas that we compete with. Along with that advantage, however, comes the challenge and one particular challenge is managing insect pests. The greenhouse can be used as a tool to help us manage insect pests by providing a barrier to prevent insects from easily getting into our crops. Florida greenhouse growers in the past few years are all too familiar with this particular challenge in the fall and the winter of the year. There are several serious insect pests, but today I'm going to just mention three of those. Uh, aphids, western flower thrips, and perhaps my least favorite, silverleaf whitefly. All of these insects feed on our crops and create some problems there, but more importantly, these three particular insects vector or transmit plant viruses to our crops. Now, these viruses do not affect us as humans, but they certainly do have a, a very serious negative effect on our crops. In fact, they can kill individual plants if that virus is transmitted to them. Two of these virus problems that have become very serious in North Florida, especially inside these greenhouses, would include uh, viruses like tomato spotted wilt virus, transmitted by thrips, and also tomato yellow leaf curl virus, transmitted by the silver leaf white fly. Because these insects transmit the virus, we have to try to exclude them from ever coming into the greenhouse, almost creating a zero tolerance policy in the greenhouse if we can. So if we imagine that an insect comes into the greenhouse, one of these that transmits virus, and even if we kill it right away after it begins feeding, we've eliminated the insect, but if the virus is already transmitted, we still have that risk of losing that crop. So we wanna to try to exclude them from ever coming into the greenhouse. In these sessions, we're gonna take a look at some of the important techniques that we can use to help exclude the insects from ever coming into the greenhouse.